Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. There are four things we are going to do and I want you to please listen. We are stepping into a very prophetic phase of this meeting now. Number one, I'm going to be praying for everybody's prayer request. So if you are here and you've not written your prayer request, whether you are outside, please allow those outside. Make sure everybody outside has access to write if you can have a prayer request. If you need to lend someone a piece of paper, everything that has mocked God in your life, Please, I want you to write it. Bring it to the altar and let the God that answers by fire tonight, let him be God. There are certain things you are going to wave goodbye and believe me, you will wave it forever. So I'm going to give us five minutes. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, those online, I'm sure that a few people did not come with something to write. Please be your brother's keeper. Help someone with a piece of paper, write. Barrenness, write it down limitation in family write it down demonic oppression write it down everything that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ write it down because in the name of jesus it must come under the obedience of the christ tonight number two i'm going to have the opportunity to pray for the sick and to minister deliverance to the captives why is that so because the bible declares just help those under the anointing the Bible says, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and then holiness. And then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. The gospel is not fully preached until it is backed up with signs and wonders. Let me show you a scripture that you should never forget. Romans chapter 15 and verse 19. Please give it to us and then we'll read. Preachers, this is particularly a word for you. That regardless what you do, the gospel cannot be complete except it is backed up by genuine signs and wonders. Romans 15, 19. Please give it to us. I'll have an opportunity to pray for the sick. If we have the time, we'll take a few testimonies. If there's no time, no problem. Let's read together. How many of you can see it projected? Just suspend your writing for one minute and let's read together. Ready? One to read. Through mighty signs and wonders, the Bible says by the power of the spirit of god so that from jerusalem and round about Illyricum, i have fully preached the gospel of christ that means the gospel is not fully preached until signs and wonders accompany the message hallelujah and then number three we are going to pray that there will be a release and an activation of graces and mantles. Please, I'd, I'd like you to know that impartation is not just about falling down and shouting. These are just charismatic things that happen because of what the Holy Ghost is doing in men. The most important thing is the genuineness of, of your heart to be open and to receive. Because tonight, Saul will become Paul. Tonight, Cephas will become Peter. Tonight, Sarai will become Sarah. Abraham will become Abraham. He says, and I will give you a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall call. Then finally, I will stand in faith with all the graces that are here represented to speak over the territory of Adamawa every apostolic grace is territorial you don't just speak to men you speak to gates and you speak to spirits there are gates in every territory they are not open just by desire mm -mm. there is a covenant that swings gates open tether and heather just suspend the collection first let me just know if you are done writing just wave your prayer request where you are and ushers will come and pick them so whether you are an usher, if there's no usher, someone stand up in that row and help collect and just pass it to them. Anybody can volunteer to just stand up and pick it so that we make it very fast.
Majesty Majesty Your grace has found me just as I am Empty handed but alive in your hands Sing majesty, say Majesty Majesty Forever I am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty sing majesty yeah. majesty your grace has found me just as i am Forever I am changed by your love Wherever you are in the next one minute I like you to lay your hands and begin to pray over your destiny and pray over your ministry and all that concerns you this is a moment of prophecy go ahead and begin to pray everywhere inside outside make sure you pray go ahead and begin to pray go ahead and begin to pray go ahead and begin to pray Father, let this fire come upon my destiny. Let this fire come upon my life. Let me become a new man in the spirit. Oh Lord at a shield for me you are my glory you are my glory you are my glory the lifter up of my head someone pray your ministry is about to shift your life is about to shift Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Do you know why I minister deliverance to the people of God? The reason is because behind many of the situations, listen carefully, behind many of the situations that plague God's people, in spite of the fact that the bible declares that we are being called out of every tribe and tongue and nation you need to understand that the prophetic speakings of god does not automatically translate to their experiential manifestation it takes faith and engaging the mysteries of the kingdom to make that which is finished to become manifest are we together now so when i minister to god's people it is because the Bible declares that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. And the assignment of the apostolic and the prophetic is to take that which is finished in Christ and stamp it to become an experiential reality in the life of the believer. Hallelujah. You will be surprised how many sincere people are here who are under all kinds of yokes, all kinds of diabolic things, satanic patterns that have men and women my bible says listen carefully 
it says it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder is that true and the yoke from off your neck and it says the burden shall the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing families that have been tied down everybody went to school yet nobody's walking nobody rises no it's an anomaly it should not be the assignment of the power of god is to bring people and things and circumstances in alignment to the will of god that means the anointing has no ministry if everything is in the will of god but the moment a thing goes outside of the will of god the anointing has an assignment to bring everything that is outside of the will of god to come back to the will of god no one the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father to be uprooted i want to pray for someone there is a holy anger in my spirit because i'm i'm sensing the burden of families the burden of people who are saying lord there has to be a way out ah that spirit will leave hear me ladies and gentlemen now please hear me the ushers are limited and when i do instruct that you bring those under the anointing to the front there is a reason why i ask them to come two things please be your brother's keeper whether or not you are an usher once someone is under the anointing please help them so they don't injure themselves number two if i ask that you bring them out you don't have to wait for the ushers you can help to bring them out and then please um let's be sure that those who might not be as decently dressed maybe are covered so that um the devil does not take advantage of what we're doing hallelujah i want to pray for you now at the count of three you're going to shout the name jesus my god i'm just seeing fire this is what i'm seeing in this place fire fire and once we count jesus all those under the anointing as i begin to rebuke those spirits please bring them out here father you have anointed me with the anointing to break every chain and every yoke I stand by the mystery of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare over your people that every spirit that has bound God's people at the shout of the name of Jesus let there be liberty now are you ready at the count of three you shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus I cause every spirit go now now please bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every devil of ancestry, every yoke of darkness, give way now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Bring them out. Outside, the power of God is coming on people. You are going to shout that name one more time. At the count of three, every spirit of ancestry, divination give way right now at the count of three one two three shout jesus gates be open yokes give way release god's people I command a release. I declare a jubilee. A jubilee. A jubilee. Let there be a release from every walk of darkness. Release their families. Release their destinies. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I'm still praying. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people held with chains. Your hand is a sign of your productivity. I don't know who has been under that bondage, but fire is coming now at the count of three. I release those hands. One, two, three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Hey, Barakatos Katevelex, Ebrakatos Kiata. Satan, let God's people go. Satan, let God's people go. 
witchcraft let God's people go by the power of the Holy Ghost There are destinies that when you rise there is, there is an invisible force that will hold you down and pull you down even if it's after 30 years you will see men rise in ministry in destiny I'm about to pray for you now every power that brings people down in your life and your family by the fire of the Holy Ghost be released now 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 altars and yokes fighting your prayer life fighting your word study life responsible for addictions all kinds of satanic addictions in the name of Jesus be released now be released now hear me the Bible says he who the son sets free is free indeed i want to declare liberty to all those who are in front here in the name of jesus as the church in yola we speak over everyone in front here satan your time is up take your hands from their lives and release them go now go 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 every strange spirit out of their destinies out of their lives forever never to return in the name of Jesus Christ holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Who is Godia? I'm hearing the name Godia. Who is that person? Godia, the Lord wants to change your story. Where is that person? Come. A new day has come for you. Hallelujah. Who is Ephraim? Ephraim. I'm hearing the name Ephraim. 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 Your family is about to experience the mighty hand of Jehovah. King 
of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. You're the King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. All of you are coming out. Okay, hold on. Here's what will happen. Once those in front, once you, you are back to yourself and you're fine, you can go back to your seat rejoicing. All those under the anointing. So that I just quickly speak to one or two people as much as possible. Those who can stand, don't force any one of them. But those who are fine and can stand, let them just get up gently. Hallelujah. Who is Ephraim? Who is from Michika? Michika. That's where you are from. I want to pray for you. What do you do? What do you do? Huh? Okay, that's all right. I want. Heavens. You are from Michika. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Because God is going to open a door that will surprise you. I receive. You I believe receive. that? I receive. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you and I shift you to a new dimension everything that has impeded your progress I declare that it gives way now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for you in the name of Jesus there's one of you standing here the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming on you now. One of the ladies, I just saw fire just come on you. And the Lord is saying that it's a new season. He's opening a door, not just for you, but he's opening a door for your family members. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, let it be the beginning of new experiences for you, even by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ephraim, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, everything that represents witchcraft in your family, as God has located you, I decree and declare, it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Madam, when are you due? When are you due? Huh? Sir, By July. July. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, but lay your hands there so that they will not tell you you have a complication because I'm seeing something that is calling for an emergency because suddenly you start bleeding and this is a demonic thing. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare you will give birth like the Hebrew women. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will give birth like the Hebrew women by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is showing me a woman. Please don't come out carelessly. Seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Seven years. I'm not just saying you are trusting God. Seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Is there such a person? Let me pray for you very quickly. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare for all of you who have come out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you return back rejoicing. Please, when you find that person, let me know. I want to pray for you. Seven years. Make sure you are married. Hallelujah. Are we together? Seven years. Do you believe the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. Place your hand on your stomach. Seven years too. I believe in miracles father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare madam look at me this woman look at me
something i'm seeing something leaving your stomach this is what i want to rebuke let her go now i cause that demonic spirit release her now now by the power of the holy ghost out of her in the name of jesus never to return to you again you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one hallelujah who works in uba uba the bank i just saw uba is there someone who works in uba i want to pray for you i just saw this in my vision uba please make sure you don't tell lies we're not playing games here uba you work in uba both of you look at me madam no no you don't have to kneel stand you are trusting god for the fruit yes, of the womb too yes, you sir. too lay your hands there let me pray don't worry i'm going to do a general prayer i just gave a word for those who are trusting for seven years in the name of jesus who had miscarriage this year miscarriage when in the name of jesus christ remember you not the former things not consider the things of old the lord is saying behold i do a new thing in the name of jesus madam look at me i'm seeing a spirit let her go now out of her now the name of jesus christ release her now by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare that you return with a strange miracle out of her now release her destiny for the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower that the righteous man runneth to it and they are saved let this oppression come to an end now the lady from uba please stand up i want to pray for you both of you are in uba are you sure i want to pray for you because my dear i hope you believe what i'm telling you i'm not seeing you stay there for very long again i'm seeing god shift you even out of this city there is somewhere he's taking you this has been your prayer i want to pray for you you are not going to stay long good news is coming for you and god is wiping your tears i stretch my hands and i decree and declare in the name of jesus let the grace that brings a confirmation to this prophetic word may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ hallelujah look at all these things in the name of jesus i decree and declare let a pastor just help just pray with them this is what happens when you are ministering to people hallelujah now hear me please for sake of time if you are trusting god for healing lay your hands now i want to pray for you lay your hands in any part of your body please believe believe lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest go ahead jesus something special supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention your name in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare please keep your hands there every foul spirit that is responsible for the sicknesses and infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ 
I command let God's people go free now shout a believing amen now I decree and declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now be healed now blood diseases be healed now migraines be healed now HIV in the name of Jesus be healed now cancer at whatever stage be healed now God is healing someone of breast lump in the name of Jesus be healed right now the left side of your breast having lumps I command those demonic lumps to live now there's someone who has a problem with your vision you're not completely blind but you don't see very well and you have severe pains especially around your right eye the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone your wrist just your wrist like I'm, I'm demonstrating you are feeling severe pain it comes and it goes in the name of Jesus that pain lives now ulcer the Lord is healing someone of peptic ulcer be healed now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing fire around someone's chest be healed from ulcer now there is a condition called gastritis the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is showing you someone you have a problem with your right limbs and you feel an unusual cold sensation very very cold and sometimes it looks like your leg is frozen and you cannot even you have to stay for a while it looks like muscle pull but it's not muscle pull in the name of Jesus I don't know who has that case but that demonic case leaves you now in the name of Jesus Christ someone you have I don't know if it's that something pierced you but you stop smelling that means you cannot smell things in the name of Jesus Christ your sense of smell is restored now some someone hit you in a dream you slept and you had a dream and someone hit you from the time you woke up in that dream there is no month you don't fall sick it looks like malaria typhoid malaria typhoid repeated like that regardless how you treat it it does not go in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring you life and healing right now the power of God is going to come on someone now the person is going to shout loud to the hearing of everybody the Lord is saying he's taking away the spirit of death from that family no 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 it's an exact person one person help them help them loud shout I cast that spirit of death over in the name of Jesus that the sound of death that you will say how can I lie Syria and people keep dying any family here that has been mourning people anyhow I stand by this mantle tonight and I declare in the name of Jesus the spirit of untimely death leaves your family now leaves your family now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus Christ for you and for those you are standing for I declare healing for you now 
I declare healing for you now. I declare healing for you now. We change genotypes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands to this prayer request, everyone. Is there anyone who is yet to drop his or her request? Just wave yours so that the ushers can see. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Please let me have your attention, everybody. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It says, in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. Don't assume that he knows. Let your request be made known unto God. Look at me. If we prophesy, we prophesy in part. If we teach, we only teach according to the measure of revelation. But this that is written here is the most accurate representation of your desires. And the Bible says in Mark 11 and verse 24, it says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, it says, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. Do you believe that? Stretch your hands in one minute and begin to make declarations that these Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. This shame and reproach. I'm waiting for one person whose prayer needs to come here. Very quickly. Protocol, you can bring it. Any one of you. Any one of you, you can bring it, please. You will marvel and wonder at the testimonies that will arise from here. Some of you are praying for your ministries. Some of you are praying for your businesses. It's a new season by the Spirit. hallelujah i'm going to bow my knees you don't have to kneel i will do the kneeling and i'm going to lay my hands on this request for the next two minutes while i'm doing that yours is to agree with me in prayer and to declare that in the name of jesus everything you have written here you will only receive the answers are you ready to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Rate kapalako sata prende kebos. hallelujah in the name of Jesus I want you as I pray to agree with me shouting a very loud amen in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead 
that every request here written is hereby turned into a testimony hereby turned into a testimony hereby turned into a testimony hear me any human agent who must partner with the holy spirit to make for the answers of these prayers we release their ministry right now and any human entity in partnership with the devil to allow the pain written here continue we declare that their function discontinue over your life prophetically I stand upon this prayer request in the name of Jesus that everything that has stood above you and has mocked you as I stand on this request I bring it down to the feet of Jesus I bring it down to the feet of Jesus I bring it down to the feet of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.